Hey guys, what's up? It's PJ here. And today, this is the ninth video of the Java 2D platformer series. In this video, we're going to work on a new class for our map, so we don't have to create these individual block objects every single time. And we can just load in a file that will load different types of blocks. So, to get started, let's just create a new class. And we'll put it in package um, mapping. And we'll just call this class map. So, in this map class, the first thing we need to do is create a constructor. And what this constructor is going to do is it's going to take in a load path. Now, we're not going to actually do the loading of the map yet in this video, but we will do that in the next one. And we will have a string path, and we'll do path equals load path. And for the sake of this video, we will actually um, take in a width and a height. That will actually be in the file for the map later on, but just for now, we will have that. So we'll set this dot width equals width and this dot height equals height. Now this map is going to have another array called block or an array of blocks called blocks. It's actually going to be multi-dimensional blocks. Um, and in the constructor, or actually when we load the file, but for now in the constructor, we're going to set blocks equal to new block, and it's going to be height by width. Now, that may seem confusing, but this indice here in a multidimensional array refers to the row, and this refers to the column, so it's going to be however many rows up and down tall, and however many columns left to right high, or wide, not high. So now we need a tick method, and in this tick method, well, we gotta put void. In this tick method, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through um, or blocks dot length. Okay, in this tick method, we're gonna loop through the blocks method or the blocks, and um, and update them. So blocks. Wait, there's no. Let's actually change this to draw. Draw, because we don't really have an update for the blocks right now. Um. So this is gonna be block zero dot length and j plus plus. So basically we're just gonna call blocks um, i j dot draw g. So for now let's just fill blocks with um, let's just fill blocks i is less than blocks dot length i plus plus for int j is equal to uh, zero j is less than blocks zero dot length j plus j plus plus and we're just going to do blocks i j equals new block now what does block take with an or x and y and um, we're just going to do i times block dot no no wait j times block block dot block size and i times block dot block size so now we will have whatever width and height we want um, of blocks. So if we did 4 by 4, we'd have 16 blocks on the map. So to test this out, let's go into the level 1 state and we can get rid of this blocks um, 
this blocks array. And let's see. Get rid of this. And this. Okay. So actually, we're going to need to create a method. Um, public block, multi dimensional block called get blocks, and it's just going to return blocks. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the player class so that it takes a multi dimensional array and then. Um, and then for int j equals zero, j is less than b zero dot length j plus plus, and we're gonna close this around here. All right, so what we're gonna do is whenever hmm, Okay, so whenever we have, we're gonna do Control F to, and if you find if you find this um, bracket I closing bracket, we're gonna replace it with bracket J. Or no, no, bracket I, bracket J. So that should fix our problem there. Okay, now let's create. Let's go back to this level one state, and we're gonna create a map. Private map map, and in the init method, we'll just do map equals new map, and we'll make it what four by four for now. Of course, it's going to be a lot bigger. Make sure you import map. Um, oh yeah, and we'll just we'll just have a blank load path for now, and then in here we'll do map dot get blocks. For the tick, so we're gonna it's gonna return the blocks array, and it'll give that information to the player to update. And then in the draw, we'll just do map dot draw. So now if we run this, hopefully it'll work. Okay, see we have our blocks over there. Now let's change the player position. We'll make it um, zero negative one hundred. Oh. Okay, so that did not work. One second. <clears throat> Let's get rid of this. Okay, um, hmm. That's odd. Let's see. Let's make this zero. Okay, so for some reason, the player is not showing up anymore. Why is it blank? Huh. Let me just test something out right now. Hmm. So it says the color is black, but it's not drawing the player. Now if we change it back to 3030, is it fine? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, we're gonna let me pause this and try to figure it out. Okay, so I figured it out. For some reason, the player is a bit farther than the offsets. Um, so for now, just set the x offset to 200 and the y offset, or negative 200 and the y offset to negative 400 in the init method of level one state. 
I am going to figure this out, but as you can see, we have our 4x4 four four map, and if we wanted to, I can just show you how we can um, change this. So, if i does not equal 0, and i does not equal, or wait, if i does not equal 0, and i, or and j does not equal 0, then we'll do that. So it's going to remove the top left corner. Well, it's actually going to be null. So we'd have to, we're going to have to work in IDs for the blocks later. But for now, we have our map class working. And I'm going to figure out what I did with the offsets, because I don't know what is going on. But thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Um, thank you for watching. Yeah, I'll see you next time.